Now, I've wanted to drive one of these for some time. This is the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Think RS version of their smallest sports car. Now, I'm not a big fan of the Huracan. I think it's pretty compromised, but I think the engine is magnificent. And for this version, they've now got 640 horsepower from that V10, less weight, special chassis, faster gearbox, stickier Corsa tires from Pirelli, and some active aerodynamics. So this is very tricky. This is the car that broke the production car lap record of the Nürburgring, and it's a monster. Let's have one lap round here, see what it does. The engine is magnificent. Really pulls. So what's it like around Knock Hill? This has technical circuit. Get some braking done. Get it turned into T1. Missed my apex a bit, but I don't mind. Four-wheel drive is very helpful here. Bit of understeer, but then you can neutralize it with the gas pedal over this chicane. It's mega, and then you let it run out. Traction control is intervening. So what I've got is a chassis that is quite normal Lamborghini. If I push it, it understeers. I can neutralize it with the throttle on the exit and get a bit of oversteer. I think I might actually switch everything off. See if we can help ourselves a bit there. I think we might have a bit more fun if we have no ESC. Gear shift is fast, but not quite Porsche fast. Still feels fundamentally four wheel driven to me. There is this just slight frustration that I can't get the power down the way I want to. But this is by far and away the best Lambo I've driven in a long, long time. It's more neutral, a bit of oversteer there on the exit, and you can play with the throttle a bit. Get some braking done, see if we can get this apex. Yeah, I found it, it's there. It's a great engine, it really is. Normally aspirated, a bit of oversteer on the way in. You can muscle the car, and it's a lot more fun than I'd expected, but it still feels four-wheel driven, and that does limit it slightly. But yeah, Lamborghini, well done. Show me you've got a sense of humor. Well, on all these style cars, this is a proper driver's car. And to make a proper driver's car, Lamborghini really has gone to town on the Huracan. The most obvious change is that huge rear wing, which works alongside an active aero management system. Flaps can open in the front intake, which alter the airflow and stall the rear wing for maximum speed. Then they can shut and allow maximum downforce for cornering. Working alongside a sticky Pirelli Corsa tyre and another 30 horsepower, that's now 640 in all from that gorgeous normally aspirated V10, the improvement in lap time is remarkable. Just see the sub 7 minute lap record it set at the Nürburgring. But this car is about much more than just lap times. It reminds us that Lamborghini does care about driving as much as being seen in something outrageous looking. <laughs>